Cliff Brown here. We're going to have a look at how we can adjust our assembly template files to make builds and materials more usable. So we're all familiar with creating specific templates for drawings, but not many people customize their assembly templates. So what am I on about? Well, let's have a look at a bill of materials in a blank assembly document. What you'll notice is our structure tab is always disabled and we don't necessarily have all of the bomb rows that we'd want to have available. So in this example, I'm gonna go and grab thumbnail, I'm gonna add it into the view, I'm gonna enable my bomb view, and I'm also gonna to go to the view properties and I'm gonna enable all levels. Well, this is my preference for my bill of materials. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those changes and I'm gonna save them over my existing template files. So I'm gonna go file, save copy as, save copy as template, I'm going to save this over my standard.iam. Make sure that you've got any backups before you do this. Um, but once I've done this change and I replace that file, when I create a new assembly file, you'll see that my bit of materials comes with my structured tab already enabled. And if you look at the view properties, all levels are enabled as well. And my thumbnail is shown over there. So, if I were to place a bunch of components into this assembly, let's place a top level assembly over here. And we look at our bullet materials, you'll see that my assembly is now shown and because I've enabled all levels, I can then expand out the lower levels and I can see all of the components that are placed inside of this assembly.